door we have Munro here who as you can see is very relaxed we're going to perform an ultrasound to see if she is in fact pregnant now as you can see she's had a lovely maternity cut on her belly there um, we do this a couple of weeks past breeding um, so that if she is pregnant it's easier to see in an ultrasound but also that the hair has had time to grow back a little bit in order to protect her from the puppy's sharp claws um, should she be pregnant so my trusty assistant Mark <laughs> is gonna give her a little ultrasound um, and we're gonna have a look to see if we can see any babies on the screen are you ready to to start I'll put some jelly on there we should really get a smaller top <laughs> Me little girl, what? <laughs> that happy little face. Look at that happy little face. You big softy. What are you? Bloody softy. carrying her precious cargo she has four days left until her due date she's getting tired Monroe show us your belly show us that big belly good girl come on big bottom girl Look at that big belly. Monroe, are you having babies? Monroe, Mama, stubborn as a noof. Monroe, this way. Come on, baby. This way. You getting tired? Come on, Marsh. Come on, girl. Good girl. Good girl. You got your sheep's leg. You got your sheep's leg. Marsh, Marsh. Good girl. This is our delivery suite. <laughs> this is the whelping room where the puppies will be born. Now, with a litter of Newfoundland puppies, you will not wake up in the morning and just have a happy mum with her litter of babies. Um, you have to be there every step of the way to give help. Um, we have our lovely welcome box here the heat lamp still needs to go up lots of toys for Monroe because she absolutely adores her toys although welping supplies ultrasound machine 
um, puppy milk just in case she doesn't produce any milk uh, so we can hand her a, a bottle feed the babies hopefully that won't be the case but we have to be prepared lots of blankets and towels and a nice fan to keep her cool um, so we have pretty much everything set up a few bits to do but we're getting there So we are one day away from Monroe's due date. So Monroe was offered breakfast this morning. She wouldn't eat it until there was some chicken on top. And she's being piercy, a little bit panty. Her temperature hasn't quite dropped yet. But she's definitely thinking about going through a few changes today I think um, she's kind of doing the typical newfie thing where she probably gear up for a little while a little bit of panting a little bit of sleeping a little bit of panting again then some more sleeping keep a close eye on her So here we are inside Monroe's whelping box where we hope she'll give birth. She she hasn't done any digging or nesting behaviour yet. Um, we expect she might, but it is her first litter, so we don't quite know how she's going to react. We're going to keep a close eye on her today to see if she shows any of those signs that she's trying to make a nest or a den to give birth. You're going to have to stay there until she has her puppies now. Because she's comfortable. Oh, she's not. <laughs> sweet girl. My sweet girl. Mum was definitely uncomfortable today. <laughs> so we brought her back into our whelping box with her toys and trying to make her feel relaxed being in here um, to hopefully give birth in here. Give me more. Are you thinking about going in the whelping room? Are you thinking about it? Is you having babies? Is you and Label? Little bit? Not really? Don't know? You don't usually drill them on raw. Oh. <laughs> Just kicking it up a notch. She's starting to feel it now, bless her sweetheart. You go get my mouse. Monroe, show us your baby nest. What did you build? Oh, oh my goodness. Was that much? Good girl.
baby. Good girl. You getting ready? Hey, baby girl. You getting ready? Thank you. I'm watching you feeling it. Oh, my baby. No. Hey, here with Monroe. She's uh, been in labor for 12 hours now. So we're hoping she's going to start getting ready to push. And we'll see some beautiful babies being born. 16 hours in. Tight baby.